Hi, today we're going to take down our boss and review the air Dungeons. Butterfly XT Intermediate Hardcore Yo Yo. So it's a 3514 XP. Barbarians, Asshole for Lawner Spin Times and More Trits. Y Shape for Spin Trits. So it's from their hardcore series, and this is the new butterfly, the butterfly XT, not to confuse with the original Dutton butterfly. So yeah, on the bed here, based on world famous butterfly yo-yo, Y body for easier string trips, starburst response system. For more information and trips, visit www.yoyo-yoyo.com. I'll put that link down below in the description. Barber and Asshole, you know, for longer spin time and more trips. All the Pacific Field away, 53 grams. Diana is 55.9 millimeters. String gap is 3 millimeters. Shape wide, flare, ball bearings 25 uh, inches or centimeters by, you know, 5 by 187. Response system is Starburst. Width is first is 0.5 millimeters. Convert your foil to a S. Convert your foil to a stream performance S to Y gaps for ease of string trips. Concave bearings and mode space kits so separately. So uh, this is what you get right here in the package. Then you're going to have to buy this special little bearing spacer to turn it into this so you got more of a gap on it for doing like man on the tramp piece type of string trips and you know where you got to go into binds and stuff. To get the yo-yo to come back up again. There's its QR code made in China. But also made in Ohio. Came out in 2003. Actually, I hadn't seen this out in 2003. I picked this up at Atari for like $4.99, so five bucks. Dutton yo-yos. They're the cheapest price yo-yo and the best quality ones. I had like a Yo Mega one, and um, everyone's saying, oh, Yo Mega, you know, they're supposed to be pretty cool and stuff. Um, that was the Star Wars one. Actually, I'm going to play my beta Yo Yo's. And that was this little fella right here. It's a Yo Mega one. And actually, I don't really care too much for this one. For butterflies from them, I actually had the Mosquito. I know they come out with, you know, the Imperial. That's why I started off with, I love the Imperial one. It's just a great yo-yo. Then they have the Speed Beetle, which is kind of like a new upgrade version of the Imperial one. It's not bad, I love this. This one I love. And then, you know, you have the Mosquito, which is, you know, their second version or upgrade version to the original butterfly and this is the butterfly XT version. I only seen them two colors. I seen a solid web one kind of like something similar to this web one and this one which I don't know how good you can see on camera but there's blue and green. So I got the blue and green one which is like you know the speed beetle which actually it's not really anything like the speed beetle. That one's more green. This one you can see the blue, and then if you look on the inside, when I get out of the package, you can see uh, the green that's in there. So yeah, let's get this open up. Okay, how am I going to open this? Hmm. Okay, give me a second here. Usually I would open it up with my scissors, but my scissors just don't want to do it anymore. They 
went into the graveyard. So I have to get a new pair of scissors. Could you now use your obvious? Okay. Oh, two seconds. I'll open this up with a pair of scissors, but. Nope. Yeah, I had time to go out to the store and find the Zat scissors that I'm looking for that I usually like to do to open up the reviews. They're so easy and nice. Those ones are like the little rubber made ones or the black scissors that you can get like dollar store and they work perfectly fine. Or what I've been using lately are these little like sewing scissors. And I love them. They work fine for like almost everything. But when I got like patches like this, I got like this heat swing or heat seal to them. The little black or red rubber made dollar store ones. Those work nice. Although, nice utility knife or a hobby knife would still work too. A little bit messier and a little bit longer process, but it gets the job done. Any instructions on the inside, you know. Uh, come on. Yeah, like, introducing the hardcore yo-yos, introducing the butterfly ST performance. So you could, you know, pause and read all this. How to keep it maintenance, you know. Don't let it get dirty, replace the string. Uh, use, you know, yo-yo lube on there, depending on what one you want to use, fit or fin lube. Don't use, uh, you know, M3, you know, like that spray or uh, free in one oil, that way as you can put your wound it and uh, melt this plastic. So there is special yo-yo bearing lube that you have to buy, and all this stuff, and then, you know, pretty much simple, easy. Okay, let's uh, check it out. As you can see, there's kind of like the uh, green that I was telling you, and here's all the blue. So let's kind of get a little bit of it out just to. Yeah. First couple times, it's a little hard. Because, you know, it's still in there. So, I'm kind of. Get up and my can kind of wants to, uh, the baby wants to die on me. Wow, this one actually came up pretty nice and easy. And as you, of course, you know, my yo yo trick to wind them up just make sure it's like this, and then yeah, it's kind of hard to do on camera, but actually, since we got undone, we could just quickly unscrew it and tail it the uh, bearings. So there is no response pad in here. So usually there's like a little response pad. Uh, this bearing seems to be stuck in there. So give me a second to kind of put this back together again. Okay, let me kind of wind it up. I kind of hit the table there, so I'll move it back a little bit more. Okay, there's a little bit more in there. Um, this one seems like it wants to come back. Kind of responsive, considering that it doesn't have any uh, response pads on the inside of it. Whoa, this one actually came up pretty fast. Which is odd for a butterfly yo-yo. Usually butterfly look. Uh, butterfly yo-yos, you know, they're not responsive, so you gotta go and t learn how to do a bind trick. So you do the bind, and then you can get it to come back. This one actually comes back, just like a weather, you know, yo-yo. Like a non-bind yo-yo. Like a, you know, a speed beetle, something like this one. Stuff. Because... Yeah. This one 
The mosquito won't come back unless you do a bind. Free hand yo-yos, but the offhand counterweight won't come back unless you do a bind. Um, but you know, why did yo-yo? It'll come back, which is like that one. This one is in between, you know. Let's say I got two of those ones right there. I mean, this one has the, you know, the auto clutch for beginners. These two, you know, you could turn them into like these ones. Kind of like the butt, like you know, the Imperial and you know the Speed Beetle and the Yomega one. But then you could also take these and turn them into like, you know, this freehand, off-center kind of weight balance thing. The Mosquito, the Visual Butterfly, the Butterfly XT, which actually the Butterfly XT, you know, should be in this category over here with the you know, the white ones that you gotta do a bind trick to bring them to come back to you is actually what's more like these ones over here than it does to what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be in this category over here and because the shape is supposed to be more like this where you gotta use the bind trick to you know make it come back up to you like you know and this one actually things is in words just like you know what a yo-yo so, I mean, I'm actually going to put it in this category because it's doing like what these ones are supposed to do. These ones are supposed to do like these, and then these ones could go to this. This one's only supposed to be made for this, but it's acting like this, so it's almost like an in-between. I wonder what would happen if, you know, you ever did find, if you could find them, and buy these spacers. Um, if anyone out there knows where to get them at, obviously, you know, people are going to say in the comments, oh, you know, just go to Dirty Dirty Die, you know. The website in here, yo yo dash yo yo dot com, obviously. But I mean, like, if you could say if they're on, like, you know, Amazon, or I'd love to know if you actually found them in a store, like, actually in a Toys R Us, in a Walmart, in uh, a Target. You know, if you do find them actually in a actual store, store, let me know down in the comments. Say, hey, you know, I found them at, you know, Toys R Us. Twelve ninety nine, or hey, Target seven ninety nine, a Walmart four fifty. That would be a bit help. They would really appreciate. I appreciate that. You know, then I could go and buy them and show you how to use them, what not to do, how to put them in, how to take them out. Is it even worth it to buy them? So if you're like, hmm, this yo-yo looks good, but then you're saying to get this to me perform like different yo, does it do it? Is it worth it, or should I just stick with you know how it is right now? And say, yeah, forget this little plastic spacers. I don't know, but if anyone out there sees it in stores and buys it or has it, let me know in the comments. Just that would be appreciated. I really, really like that. So yeah, let me get all these out of the way because my camera battery is about to die. So yeah, I mean, actually, I was really impressed with this butterfly. I thought you know it was going to be like the weather butterfly yo-yos, and it impressed me so much that. It has a super fast, nice response system, like a weather yo-yo. I love it. It's awesome. I definitely would tell you to get this one. It's going to confuse you if you're like, oh, and just put the butterfly yo-yos. This one is going to be a little more confusing and feels a lot different than a weather butterfly yo-yo. Even though it looks like a butterfly yo-yo, it's supposed to be a butterfly yo-yo. It doesn't put it like a butterfly yo-yo, okay? It puts like just a weather yo-yo. So yeah, definitely, you know, for... Four ninety nine, five bucks at you know Target. If you into yo-yos, and Duncan is a fantastic brand. Like the brand that I always pick for yo-yos, Duncan. If anyone asks me in the comments, what's your favorite brand yo-yo? What brand yo-yo would you prefer? Duncan. They're the cheapest price yo-yos, like four, five bucks, maybe ten bucks for a two pack, and they're just fantastic quality. I had nothing that actually went wrong on them except for you know. Obviously, you have to change the string. And the way how I put them, I have to get new bearings and lube and response pad. But, you know, that's all part of going on with the yo-yo when you have yo-yos stuff. But definitely, you know, you might want to invest in strings priority because those are the first thing to go. Then, you know, the bearings and the response pads. But this one doesn't have any response pads. So maybe strings and then bearings and some bearing lube. Yeah. 
but definitely uh, invest in getting some strings pretty fast because these little starter strings that come with the yo-yo wear out real fast and easy. Believe me, I, I know. I have a whole bag of these.